this guy joining me now, he is uh, not a fighter. Well, he trains from what I've heard. And if I'm being honest, I do not know a ton about him. And that's the whole point of the, doing this interview. Please welcome the man behind MMA Gaming, Christian Nunez. Thanks for joining me today, man. Hey, Jeremy. Thanks for having me. No worries, man. Now, as I said, honestly, I don't know a ton about you. I don't know really what's going on uh, within what you're doing. I got a message from Eric Cowell from My MMA News. Said, you know what, can can you hook up an interview with this guy? I said, Fuck, why not, man? It, it sounds like a cool thing that he's got going on. And uh, I thought I'd get it going. So talk to me about what you got going on here because it, it seems like a pretty cool endeavor. It's a new startup, MMA Gaming. I'm not exactly sure about the name and why it's called MMA Gaming, but just talk me through the beginnings of this. Sure, Jeremy. Uh, so it's all started about, I want to say about a little over four years ago. I started training at Sussex County MMA. It's one of our local gyms here in North Jersey. And uh, as I got into training in jiu-jitsu and being around the guys and the fighters, I started realizing that a lot of them were gamers. And I started to think, well, is everybody in MMA gaming? Uh, is Are most jiu-jitsu guys or most Muay Thai fighter guys or just grapplers or whoever is in the mixed martial arts scene? Are these guys all gamers? And it turned out they were. And I've always been in software and computers. And since I started training there, a couple of the guys were like, hey, Nunez, that's they call me by my last name. And they're like, hey, Nunez, man, since you're into computers and you're into software development and hardware, you should really think about gaming on the PC. And I was always a console guy. And nothing to nothing to knock the console. Love PlayStation, love Xbox. And then I thought, hmm, maybe there's a niche here. Maybe there's guys that do want their own gaming computers. Maybe I can build them and do like an MMA theme. Uh, create my own characters, their own fighters, have different tiers to the systems. And then as I started training more and building a relationship with the guys at the gym and all the fighters, I started realizing like, hey, they need new PCs. It's a pandemic. People are out there like, you know, fighting tooth and nail to find these graphics cards. And I thought, why don't I just get into this space? And it started out just organically, like just for fun, build a computer for a fighter, a friend here, a train, training partner there. And then all of a sudden it started blowing up where people were saying, hey, Nunez, can I get one of these uh, MMA gaming PCs? What do you have? Do you have a website, a catalog? And then it just flourished into that. And that's how I kind of got in with Eric because Eric, uh, being uh, an editor at, here at My MMA News, he was basically connected to our gym and knew, knew some of, or knows some of the fighters. And then that's how he kind of connected with me and said, hey, my son would love one of these computers. Yeah. Is there any way you can hook him up? And then I was like, yeah, absolutely. And then we built one for his son and we did a whole like surprise reveal for him when we did the interview with MMA News. Uh, or my MMA news, and that's kind of how I got into this. Yeah, I, that was actually the first the first thing that I saw about you. I, Eric did hit me up, but I did see the the computer reveal, uh, and, and that his son got that computer, which is super cool. Um, it's something that you don't necessarily see too often with uh, startup companies. You know, they're they're trying to. You're trying to gain a name for yourself, of course, but you're not out here like hooking people up and whatnot. And and judging by what you've got going on there, it's not. You know, they're not the cheapest of computers. They're they're custom built and whatnot. So talk about the computers themselves and, and what these things bring to the table compared to, you know, your average computer that you might buy at Best Buy. Sure. So uh, it's, a, it's a great question. So the way this sort of ended up happening was uh, my wife bought me a pre-built computer. Okay. And, uh, and when I got the computer, I thought, oh, okay, I don't know too much about what I need to look out for how to optimize the computer looking at all these components i had a good idea of what the components did but i didn't understand am i getting you know taken am i am i getting fleeced here am i getting taken to the cleaners as they say uh and then as i started doing research on the computers i started realizing yeah there's a lot of computers out there that are pre-built and given to new time gamers who are sort of just kind of sold on oh that that seems right that's kind of like small budget medium budget large budget but not really understanding what goes behind optimizing a computer and really having the finest parts. So what I divided, uh, what, what I ended up doing was, I devised a plan to create computers with the basically the state of the art components, understand the gamers and their needs. Uh, some gamers are Minecraft gamers. Others are going to do like 
uh, role playing games like uh, Red Dead Redemption, Grand Theft Auto, and others are first person shooters where they need the most frames per second. And so as I started realizing there's different types of gamers, I started putting the best components and the best parts inside these systems to match the profile of the gamer instead of just going, hey, there's just a small, medium and large fit your budget. I could go through a vast difference of budgets and I attach all these different components and customize it for the gamers. And then also the way they look, as you can see behind me, some of the systems, uh, it's all about the aesthetics too. You know, a, a machine really tells you a lot about how it was built, but also the story behind what the gamer wants to tell. Uh, whether it's not even just gaming, it's creating graphic arts. My machines are also there for 3D modeling. Engineers who wanted to use SolidWorks and AutoCAD. So the systems are really state of the art, really sharp, really sleek, and it catches your eye, right? And no that's doubt. what I wanted. I didn't want something that was just, oh, it looks pretty vanilla. It's in a box, a couple of lights. These systems, if you get up close and personal with them, you'll see they're 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 magnificent machines. It's funny that you brought that up, AutoCAD. Uh, I actually I know uh, the program quite well. I know that. Uh, I went the budget route. My wife is in school for uh, a teaching technology course uh, at a technology school here in Vancouver, and she needed a PC. We're, we were a Mac family, uh, so we bought a PC, and uh, I bought it from Best Buy, just a nice little budget computer. She was able to load AutoCAD on it and, and all those kind of things, but needless to say, I've brought it back to Best Buy three different times because of the fact that it, it would crash on me or uh, something wouldn't work or whatnot. Luckily, I, I bought that damn Geek Squad repair thing and right. was able to get it fixed. But needless to say, I know that the budget thing, you get what you pay for is basically what I'm saying. And, and needless to say, you can see that with uh, the products that you have. What have the What's the feedback been like from your customers? Has there been any complaints? Has there been anything like that? And, and what is the feedback you're getting from this stuff? Yeah, uh, the feedback that I'm getting is been all positive feedback from all of my customers. Uh, I sometimes like kind of go, kind of like punch myself and pinch myself to remind myself like, are my computers really this good? Are people just <laughs> being nice? Or am, can, I, can I actually check in on people? So what I do from time to time is I check in on customers and I go, how's the computer? How's, how's Old Faithful doing? And they're like, no complaints. It's super smooth, um, which attests to the quality of the work and the craftsmanship that goes behind the computers. Uh, I almost kind of want someone to give me something. I'm getting a little <laughs> bored. But it's kind of told me, hey, man, I had, I had a little issue with your computer, but uh, what is it? Is it a driver? But nothing. Uh, in all honesty, everyone has been super satisfied with the quality. And I think that that's one of the things, too, that drives MMA gaming is that although we're sort of regional right now, uh, we do have a website and you can order uh, within the 48 states. I'm still working on the whole Alaska, Hawaii, and how to ship computers out there. But uh, anyone who buys a computer MMA gaming, uh, they, they obviously get uh, warranty and, and they get full time support. Like I have customers that will call me and say, hey, uh, could you just guide me through, you know, setting up my refresh rate on my display? Simple things where, yeah, you could totally Google that, but I'm all about customer centricity. Right. And then I'll just engage with the customer. and go, Yeah, let's go through it. Let's get on a support call. Let's open up a Zoom, a screen share. And I think like that has really given me the, the excitement to see people's sm uh, smiles on people's faces, getting the computer they want, and just being completely happy. You know, I'm not here to, to make a quick buck. I'm here to really just give people a tool that they can use and just have fun with it, right? And not, not stress out. Because I do know that stress with the big box retailers. You buy something. You, they kind of lean in with like the protection plan. Yeah. The next thing you know, you're, you're going back and you're like, ah, you know, did I get the right computer? Uh, and I'll, honestly, sometimes no, like I don't, this is not a knock on big box retailers, but some of the, uh, the folks that might work there uh, might not to their, you know, maybe they're not, maybe they're driven by different motives. Maybe it's commission or, or maybe they're just, Hey, I'm just reading the card, right? I'm reading the script and small medium large where do you fit what at mma gaming i have folks that'll say i want to do this i want to do that and i'll say to them uh you could do that on a far less cheaper budget you don't need to go all, all in 
And then others, well, I'll, I'll tell them, hey, honestly, this will do some of what you need. But if you really want to sleep easy at night and wake up every day for the next four or five years and turn that bad boy on and be smooth, this is where you're going to have to be in the price range. And I think you need that transparency with customers. 100% you do. And customer service, as you said, is key. Is this your full-time gig now then? No, th this is not my, my full-time gig. Uh, I, I work on the software side. Uh, I, I actually I actually work in software with uh, Microsoft. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but no, uh, I, I, I work on the side. Uh, I actually uh, did this more as a hobby which turned into a business and i think that's when things grow naturally right uh you know i'm not i'm not here to be the uh pc gaming king you know of the world i'm here just to find people that need good computers that need support that want a game and that don't want in two to three years to say oh man this is just a potato i'm gonna need to upgrade again and get something better for sure. Was MMA Gaming always the, the first choice for the name of the company? Great question. Uh, yeah, it actually it actually came naturally. Um, uh, I just was talking with my friends and saying, hey, at the gym, you know, what's catchy? What would work with this? It's like, well, all my customers are MMA guys. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we just call it MMA Gaming? And that was it. MMA Gaming came naturally. Nice. Now, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy myself. I, I train and I teach up here in Vancouver. Going to your website there, checking out the products, seeing the names of them. I can't help but love it. Uh, yeah. what, what, what are some future names? Anything into, into existence coming down the pipeline? So, um, so the, way, the way the products are laid out is there's, there's four series. There's the Cage series, the Pro series, the um, – we have the uh, – uh, cage i forgot my own products <laughs> we have cage uh we have cage pro uh now i gotta go to my site we have the legend series and from uh, what it looks yeah. like you got the cage series kimura pro series bow and arrow pro series anaconda and then the elite series bone collector elite, elite of course <laughs> how could i forget the elite series? uh the elite i was gonna have to go to the site right yeah. now everybody like, this guy doesn't even know his own product yeah we have the Elite Series and we have the Legend. So in the Cage Series, uh, uh, to, to answer your question, uh, some some of the ideas that I have are, they I have the, of course we have the Kimura, and then uh, that is an entry series. That's just like, hey, I want to just do some nice gaming, maybe dabble in a little bit of 1040p gaming. Perfect system goes after the Kimura. I have a logo with the Kimura being done on a fighter, and it's going to be embroidered on the actual uh system uh when when i get that uh stenciled in and all all squared away nice in the pro series we have the anaconda and we have the bow and arrow which we know is our jujitsu finishes as well uh in the elite series we have the bone collector that's actually named after a grappler in our gym we call him the bone collector because he has a history of some people getting contorted <laughs> <laughs> um, not by his, uh, um, not by his, uh, you know, like intentions. Just uh, it happens, right? You know. Of course. Say, stuff happens in the gym, so we named it after him. And then the Mata Leal, which is the Lion Killer, uh, which is in the Legend series, which is the high end. Um, but yeah, I have other ideas. Uh, you know, the uh, Oma Plata. Uh, but I also want to get also uh, Muay Thai into the picture too, right? With striking as well. For sure. So the character. The characters represent the series. In the Kimura series, we have uh, an animation of, of Kimura. I'll, I'll send it to you if you if you like, so you can take a look at Definitely. it. Definitely. And then I have a graphic artist uh, at the gym. One of our uh, teachers, uh, Maurice Johnson. He's a professor at the school too, and he's actually doing the graphic arts. And we got the anaconda coming up with the fighter, where both his arms are anacondas, and he's just strangling someone. So we got all these great ideas. Um, but again, it's just slowly all coming t together. Now, I got to ask, as I said, I, I purchased a computer for, for my wife. And obviously, it was a laptop so she could bring it to school and whatnot. They're tough to game on at times. Obviously, the stuff that you have right here on your site, they're all desktop PCs. Is laptop gaming ever something that could come down in the future? Uh, 
I would say it's a possibility. Um, it's definitely something that if I see that there's a, a, a market for it and I can I can get the components at, at a good price, then absolutely I could see myself going with the laptops. Uh, the, the thing with the laptops though is that I'll probably have to find an OEM provider with the monitors, with the screens, right? So that will probably be the, the trickiest part for me going into that space. But like anything else, that space is evolving too. It's not like a laptop where years ago you get a laptop and you'd say, hey, I don't really think I could do anything but Minesweep or play Solitaire, yeah. right? There, there's actual laptops now that have these graphic cards, you know, these uh, NVIDIA graphic cards, these 3060s that are more on a smaller on a smaller platform that go inside laptops. So the laptops now are really like pushing the envelope and they're getting much better. So if I do see that there, there's a market for that, I definitely would, would entertain that. So MMA gaming, obviously you said a lot of the fighters out there, especially during the pandemic, into gaming. Uh, we know a UFC fighter, a guy, Joe Lozon, huge gamer. A lot of these guys will actually bring their desktop computers with them to fight week and whatnot. Have you hit up any big name fighters to, to push MMA gaming to? So... It's funny that you say that um, we, we did, when I say we, a couple of the guys at the gym, we were talking about some MMA fighters they hit up uh, and Joel Lozon was one of them. Uh, another one was uh, Max Holloway. Just send Max a computer, right? And put his, uh, put a gif of him, you know, in one of his fights or one of his finishes right here on one of the coolers. And it just keeps animating, going. And, it, you know, we, we talked about it. Um, and then we, we do also have fighters at our gym, uh, that, that are not gamers, right? And, and they're pretty big names too, regional mm -hmm. names and, 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 you know, on the national level too, where you have like Jim Miller, you know, I know his kids probably do, do gaming, <laughs> uh, but uh, we also have like uh, Jim Fitzpatrick, uh, who is a regional PA cage uh, uh, fighter. He's a, he's, he's a regional PA cage champ uh, at uh, featherweight and, uh, he's a big gamer too. And I'm in the process of building him his own like custom made computer, but yeah, there's, there's names out there and I, I'm just trying to see who would be interested and who would want to promote it. And absolutely we'd send him a computer just to get the thing pushed more. Definitely. Now, a lot of these guys actually like, you know, Demetrius Johnson, big Twitch guy, uh, Megan Anderson, big on Twitch as well. Sugar Sean O'Malley. Like there's, there's so many names out there these days that are, that are gaming on Twitch that, It'd probably be easy to hit them up and, and just be like, listen, push my product, man. Push my product. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and it's something that I'm thinking about like doing uh, probably at the end of the summer, find a few fighters, also find a few grapplers, you know. I wish Gordon Ryan would love uh, yeah. gaming. But, uh, <laughs> but I think his brother, uh, I think his br brother does like gaming. So there you go. Definitely. Now, I grew up um, a console guy. Actually, I got my Xbox on in the background here. I'm still a console guy. I was a PlayStation guy at first. I ended up working at uh, EA Sports for a summer, testing games, and it switched me over to Xbox. The controller I loved a lot better. I, I was never a huge pc guy I, I was always a laptop guy my stepson huge into counter-strike and and pc gaming he built his own pc and whatnot but i do video editing and i do you know these video interviews and whatnot like that if i were to look at one of these things do you guys push that kind of stuff as well i mean it's called mma gaming but what kind of stuff can you do for a guy like myself who isn't necessarily the gamer but wants to do push the video editing heavy and whatnot absolutely uh uh, great question. I've had a few clients that have reached out to me and they already have computer in hand already where they had said, hey, listen, I don't do any gaming. Okay, what do you need? I'm doing artificial intelligence anal analyzing. So I need like an RTX 3090. I need this type of speed on my RAM. Could you put something together for me? And I have a client like that. I've had another guy who says, I just want four monitors all in 4K and I'm doing all stock stock market, I'm like, great. And I build a special computer for him so he can stream all his stocks and stream all his soccer in high depth. <laughs> and then I have another uh, customer uh, who is simply just doing video editing. He's like, hey, listen, I need something that is not gonna be a tomato can. It's gonna last me a good four to five years. And I need to do 4K video rendering. And I can't stand in front of the computer 
for two hours waiting for this video to render. I need it quick and fast. So we, of course, have customers that also fit that bubble that's outside of MM gaming, right? That's not just, hey, I just want to do gaming. I want to do engineering work. I want to do video editing. And we have those computers too. In fact, those elite and legend series computers that you see are more than enough for video editing, but also we can customize the Pro and K series so that it's less intensive on the gaming and more focused on video editing too. Answered my question uh, completely there, man. Christian, man, I, I think I dove into more than enough on the topic here in this uh, 20 plus minute interview. Anything else you want to push? With this MMA gaming thing, I know it's just a startup at this point, but it seems like it could definitely blow up. Uh, if you want to let people know where they can find you, uh, where they can get a hold of you, what else you got going on, uh, the floor is yours, man. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. So, yeah, uh, please, anyone who's interested in uh, MMA gaming, don't uh, don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, you know, we value your opinions, your thoughts. We don't want to push anyone into just, hey, just – just to spend a couple of thousand dollars and it, you know the problem is it solves itself. We really care about what your needs are and whether we're a right fit for you, right? So you can find our computers at MMAGamingPC.com. Uh, if you go to our website, MMAGamingPC.com, easy to remember, you'll see all of our series there. Uh, we are pushing new graphics, new content, and we're also evolving with the industry. So as parts change in pricing, we'll change along with the pricing. As more technology comes out that is going to be more uh, uh, more impressive, staying with the times, we're not going to be recycling the same units. And of course, there's limited quantities too. So if you see something that says limited quantity on the site, go ahead, ping us, fill out the questionnaire. Tell us what you like, and then we'll work with you. And also, if it doesn't meet your price range, we'll still work with you. Our job is to make sure that you get the computer you need at the right budget and with the right specs. Awesome, man. Off of that question, actually, I'll ask you one more thing. If someone does hit you up, what what's the average turnaround time for it? Okay, so the average turnaround time, if you're local, we could do local pickup, and that is two days. You'll have it in two days. If you are outside of New Jersey, so or let's say outside of New York, New Jersey, PA, or let's just say the tri-state area, then it's going to take about a week with shipping. You look at about five days ground shipping and then the two days for the build. So it's about a week uh, lead time. Awesome, Christian. Uh, man, it's been a pleasure. I, awesome to figure out what exactly this is because, as I said right off the hop, I didn't know uh, anything about the company. Now I feel like I... I've read an entire biography on it. So thank you very much for joining me today, man. And I hope it goes as well as it seems to have been going right off the hop. It's a pleasure seeing this. It's a pleasure talking to you. Can't wait for it to do more, man. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. And MMA Sucka, I appreciate it. Jeremy, uh, thank you for taking the time. And uh, as always, keep training, man. Awesome, man.